get ready to meet one of Switzerland's most beautiful villages. This right here is Kemenz, one of my all-time favorite towns that I came across. Raw, traditional, serene, fairy tale, winter wonderland, great vibes that one will get when coming up here. Kremenz during winter is truly fascinating and quite different than in summer, but does it make Kremenz to Switzerland's most beautiful village during winter season? Strap yourself in and let yourself be enchanted by this charming town. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geographic. Right now I'm in Grimenz in the Hotel Alpina. They have a whirlpool outside on the balcony. It's really amazing. And then in the background over there is the beautiful village called Grimenz. It's one of my favorite towns here in Switzerland. I came here for the first time in summer 2019 and now I really wanted to see how it is during winter. It's one of the nicest villages that I've ever visited, but I think during winter it's even much better than summer, so let's go and explore this town together. Gemenz is one of the most stereotypical villages that one can visit in Switzerland. However, with it being far from the touristy and urban centers, you really need to want this trip. The way up by car or bus is surely going to be quite adventurous, but definitely will mark a great start. Once having reached Grimenz, you likely will get out at this car park and then you will have to take this trail up to the village center. Latest when walking up, you will realize how well this village has been preserved. Right when arriving up in the village, you will pass by this creek and here you can see the old mill where the traditional use of hydropower is being showcased. The canton of Wallis is well known for its long history of water engineering. There are plenty of interesting mills and irrigation systems that can be seen all over the canton. Proceeding to the village center, you will arrive in what I consider one of Switzerland's most beautiful alleys. This lane is just alluring. Walking through this alley, you will be passing multiple masterpieces of traditional wooden houses, of which each one looks distinct. It's definitely a good idea to take a little bit of your time and take a closer look at each house. The entire village has been very well preserved, but despite its beauty and grand efforts to maintain the original character, this place remains very underrated up to this day. It's definitely a great idea to take some of the side alleys because here in Grimenz you can discover a lot of things. For example here you can see the display of some traditional tools. Yeah, these side alleys in here in Grimenz they are very photogenic. The houses here in Grimenz they are really fascinating. For example this one here almost entirely made out of wood, constructed with a lot of love. Yeah, here in Grimenz you will get to see a lot of masterpieces like this. And that's why I really, really love to come to this village. Besides the various beautiful houses, there are a lot of nice details to discover, such as fountains, cauldrons, figurines or tools. There are furthermore many great lookout points from where you can get a great view over the village or the surrounding scenery. In here there are quite some houses that are very stereotypical for the canton of Wallis. We call these houses with those peculiar legs Stadl houses. So, these plates, they are called mouse plates and in the past people were storing wheat inside these houses and they really wanted to prevent the mice or the rats to come up. So basically they just built these houses on pillars and then they put these plates that prevent mice or rats from climbing. Quite a smart solution. And up to this day, these houses are really part of the identity of the villages here in the canton of Wallis.
Although rather short, I find this walk very enjoyable. Very sure, should you come to Grimens, you will definitely have a great time here. It's really an amazing village, very photogenic, as I said before. Yeah, this is really one of the most beautiful villages here in Switzerland. And I even dare to say during winter, this is probably the most beautiful one. Being absolutely stunning during the day, Grimens is not any less attractive during the night. While most of you might consider a day trip to this village, I highly recommend to stay overnight in order to get the enchanting impression of Grimens during sunset and dusk. Especially during the cold season with the snow and the glowing lights, Grimens will transform into a true winter wonderland. What is also very charming is the Glockenspiel held around 6.30 pm, which really matches the fairy tale like atmosphere. Once the darkness fully sets in, this village turns empty and then you will have it all for yourself. I'm going to take you now up to the Sorbois, which is one of the mountains around here. I've never been, but let's hope the panorama is going to be great. By the way, somewhere in this video I'm hiding something that is associated to one of the cultural events here in Switzerland, which I also have shown in one of my previous videos. If you find about it, please leave the time code it's shown in this video and also name the cultural festival. The first one, he or she will get a free postcard from Gemographic. I'm now back again at my hotel. However, I'm going to take this cable lift, which is going to take me up to the Sorbo. I just arrived on the Gorne du Sorbois. Was a really, really beautiful ride. And wow, the panorama up here. It's really great. Take a look. Since my first visit to Cayman's in summer 2019, I knew that skiing in this area is possible. However, only when I arrived on the Sorbois, I got to realize how underrated this resort is. Cayman's Sinal might be less known despite being embedded into this breathtaking alpine panorama. In addition, this skiing resort is snowshore, which in these days is getting increasingly important. Definitely, I will have to come back and try skiing in here. For those who are interested to get to know more about the local geography, world-famous Zermatt just lays behind these mountains. While German is the predominant language spoken by the locals over there, the people of the Val d'Anivier are French-speaking. We've reached already the end of this video. Down here you can see the magical Val d'Anivier. It's really an amazing place. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like, leave your comment, share it to your friends. It would be really awesome. Also, if you're new to this channel, then you're most welcome to subscribe. I really appreciate that. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.